If you are a business owner or if you're thinking about starting a business, I know you have heard of Alibaba. There is good things to say about Alibaba and then there is bad things to say about Alibaba. In this video, I will be discussing the pros and cons of Alibaba, what to look out for, how to source product, how to talk to vendors, and I will be giving you my full honest opinion on how I feel about Alibaba. It is true that Alibaba is a billion dollar company. You can source goods from A to Z, just like Amazon. Alibaba is one of the world's largest provider of basically anything. Sometimes Alibaba gets a bad rep because it's a Chinese company. A lot of people assume just because it's a Chinese company that is cheap, when in fact, it is estimated that 19% of goods in the US is made by China. Whether you believe it or not, a lot of big brand items are made in China. China produces quality items for cheap prices and sometimes not so good quality items for cheap. So as you can see here, this is what Alibaba looks like. You can use it on your phone, you can use it on your computer. Alibaba over the years has upgraded itself for people and businesses to be able to source items fairly quickly. You can also customize orders on Alibaba and make brand new, fresh off the market products. I will be sharing with you personal pros about Alibaba. I have been sourcing through Alibaba for the last four years. I have found that it is cheaper, the quality is great, you meet some really nice people and they can become very trustworthy. After you build relationships with a lot of these vendors, they'll cut you deals. They will ship to you at discounted rates and they will even hint to you when new products or hot things are on the market so that you can drop the things through your business. Though with all the good does come the bad. And with any business, you will have things just not wind up right. With Alibaba, some issues that I have came across personally is that goods can get lost and depending on the vendor, they might not be willing to give you a refund. They might either offer you a half refund or offer you products through your next purchase with them. And the bad thing about that is if you get bad quality products from them before or if your items get lost and you just feel like they're not dependable, then it might be hard wanting to buy through a company again. So sometimes their refund policy can be kind of janky, but it all depends on the business itself, the vendor you're going through. Now the good side about this is if your package does get lost, you can get a refund up to $1,000. So let's say you lost your goods and the company is not trying to do the right thing, Alibaba will refund you up to $1,000 worth of your goods. The issue with that being is if you have a $15,000 order and it gets lost and the company does not want to refund you, you only can get a refund up to $1,000. Me personally, I have never had that happen to me, but who knows if that has happened to other people. Another good thing about Alibaba is custom orders. Depending on what you are looking for, you can find any type of product to customize. Whether it's clothes, shoes, toys, you name it, you can customize it. And sometimes customization does not have to take long. One time I customized something and the whole process only took me two weeks and it definitely was affordable. That's another pro with Alibaba. You can definitely find some great quality items that are very affordable. On the other hand, depending on what you're looking for, you can find some vendors who pricing seems really, really good. Then you get the products and they are trash. So I'm going to be sharing with you some tips to help you look for the right vendors, okay? I'm just going to pull up the screen and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So you're going to go to Alibaba, download the app or sign into your account and log in online. So just an example, we're going to look for stickers. So you put in stickers and on the first screen, it's going to bring up some really good vendors. What you're going to look for, number one, is if the person is verified, how long they've been in business. Another thing, you are going to actually go pick one, see if they have reviews. So on this one, this is what it looks like. You're going to press right here at orders and look for reviews. 
if the company does not have reviews then it's highly likely that they don't really get a lot of orders or their orders are not that good okay so when you go back you're gonna want to look at MOQs MOQs is basically the minimum order that you can purchase some will have large some will have small ones and you want to also look for companies who provide samples I suggest always getting a sample order before you buy a big batch from a company just to make sure it's the quality that you want from any item okay and then the next thing so we'll stick with this one you can chat with them and then it'll show bring up some sample questions that you can ask them you want to look for people who respond in less than a day but you also want to take in consideration in america our time difference so when it's day here it's night there typically you can message them around seven to eight o'clock u.s time and see if they're up if they respond back to you very quickly then that's a good sign that they are a good vendor and they take their customer service very serious this is why i say this is very important i have ran into times where vendors will absolutely take very long to message back that means that it could be that they're busy but down the road you want to have somebody very dependable especially when you have a brand that you're upholding and making sure that if something goes wrong they are going to take your time very seriously so the biggest thing to do is chat with these vendors get to know them make sure that they communicate well if they are argumentative dismiss them don't work with them if they are polite nice they can bend to all the things that you're wanting them to do it's a good sign that they are a good vendor no company is perfect you might have mistakes but a good sign is when something comes up and the vendor itself is like okay we're gonna fix this problem I'll refund you I'm sorry if your package got lost we'll we'll replace the packages free shipping that is a sign that they are a good vendor you want to look for a lot of five and four star reviews you want to do your research just like this example with the sticker company some things that you could ask them is how many orders can you produce in a month how long does it take for you to customize order how long will it take to get my shipment and I'm going to put on the screen a list of some common questions that you can ask to any vendor about any product and hopefully this helps you out when it comes to sourcing your products. Here's my take on Alibaba. It has a good rep and it also has a bad rep but it's kind of up to you to do your thorough research and make sure that you are going with the right vendors and sourcing the right products that your products are good, your vendors are good, y'all are on an even playing field you know what you want and that you can come together to make sure you're getting your products when you need it when you want it alibaba does get a bad rep i see things on tiktok and you can just get that stuff on alibaba but you gotta remember it's what you do and how you get the products that differentiates you from other people people can just buy a batch of crappy products and they'll sell them and then they'll get angry that people are complaining about their products because they did not do their research and take their time to find the right products they are out there on alibaba it's just it's up to you to find them don't be cheap don't be lazy when it comes to Alibaba because you can get the best quality products like designer products on Alibaba if you find the right vendors to work with that's my scoop on Alibaba if you enjoyed this content make sure you follow me give this video a like comment below some topics that you want me to talk about and I'll see you on the next one